Hi, Tienes from Bandwidth Block. Uh, today we're in Cape Town for the launch of the Sony Xperia Z, the new flagship device that is coming to South Africa at the end of March, possibly the beginning of April. And um, as you can see, uh, this is the purple model. It's also coming in white and black. And we must say, overall, we really do like the look of the device. This is the black one. If we quickly just look at the device, it's a five inch 1080p screen. It's uh, truly one of the more beautiful screens you'll ever see, um, especially in today's market. And uh, we must say we're really impressed with the look of the device so far. On the side, you have the SD card slot with the NFC chip. And then, um, of course, on the back, it's a 13 megapixel camera. It also has the power button and the volume rock is on the right hand side. And uh, the first impressions are really good. It's a very, very sturdy device, and um, it's, it's something that it's, it's uh, very interesting in today's market. One of the things that they are touting for this device is its durability and how people drop their device. As you can see, this one is wet, um, and I just pulled it out of the water. It's completely waterproof, and well, we didn't believe it until we saw it. Um, and it's even so, so durable. Uh, we can drop it and bash it on the floor, and um, it still works fine. If, um, if I drop it, it, it won't, nothing will happen. So. Still works fine, no scratches, and uh, I can drop it in the water. The device is completely waterproof, nothing to worry about here. We're really looking forward to getting the device ourselves once it launches, and uh, you can expect the full review on bandwidthblog.com. I'm sitting here with Mark from Sony Mobile SA. Um, thank you for sitting uh, well, sit, Thank you for sitting with us, Mark. Yeah, thank you for having me here. Uh, welcome to South, to South Africa. Uh, we just have a couple of questions. First of all, what is Sony's marketing strategy in South Africa? The marketing hasn't always been so good and, and, and big in South Africa. What's the new strategy? I mean, the new strategy basically was uh, beginning of last year really to come back with the Sony mobile brand. I mean, uh, before that it was Sony Exxon, but uh, the team basically uh, uh, had to had to uh, retreat, and uh, we have restarted the Sony mobile brand uh, last year in, I think it was in April or, or, or May, and we, we really fought very very hard to get uh, the, brand, the the phones in like Xperia Sola, the Xperia Go, and now we are looking into rolling out a complete portfolio which has mobile handsets in different price segments so that we can make sure that we reach a large consumer base with our mobile handsets. And of course now with the Xperia set, we are extending the portfolio into a much more premium segment where we have also a lot of vendors in. But I think with our brand and with our device that you have seen before the Xperia set, you really can compete with our uh, competitors and also that we have our Sony technology together with a durable, a water-resistant device that we really can differentiate ourselves from the competition. Thanks. Uh, the, the Z launched um, overseas last month. Um, what has the initial reaction been like? I mean, the reaction was fantastic. I mean, uh, having been for two weeks in Barcelona, the Mobile World Congress, I mean, the, the reaction from the customers, from the media, from the journalists, it was amazing. Since we have shown and announced the phone back in Las Vegas in the beginning of January. I mean, everybody really wanted to have that device in their hands. And we have seen in Germany, we have seen in France, in Spain, I mean, even last week in Dubai, people were queuing up basically outside the Sony stores or the stores and asking for the device. So in Dubai, for example, last week, they sold uh, over 2,000 2, phones uh, within three days. Okay, and um, what, what would you expect for the device to do in South Africa? Do you really believe there's a big market for it here? I think there's, there's a fairly big market. Um, I mean, we are going to launch the device in the beginning of April. Uh, we are launching it with uh, two big network operators and then of course it will extend uh, the range uh, to other customers as well. I think there's a, there's a big potential for the phone. And uh, we will see when we are going to launch now with a big marketing campaign. I mean, we will launch with one of the largest marketing campaigns since uh, Sony Ericsson, so back in the days. And I think it will have a huge impact. I, I think really we will, will do very, very well. 
What do you think um, is the market doing in terms of screen sizes? The flagship devices with every generation, the screen has become bigger and bigger. Why is that and do you see that trend continuing? I, I think that uh, what you can see in the market is that uh, vendors are switching between different screen sizes. I think the trend will, will, will uh, go on. I think the screen sizes will increase. But on the other hand, I mean, you still will see handsets that have smaller screen sizes. So there's no, let's say, there's no, no optimum or best screen size in that sense. So still, you will have a full range, a full portfolio of different handsets with different screen sizes. I think there's no one single magic screen size that fits it all. And what did you see in the market research that, is, that, uh, that you decided that you need a very, very durable and a waterproof device because it's one of the yeah. first in the world? I think that uh, with, with uh, durable and water resistant phones, I mean, it's, it's nothing new to Sony because, I mean, in Japan, almost all the handsets brought to the market by Sony are water resistant and, 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 and dust proof. So from that sense, the technology is there. The only thing that Sony did basically was to really take the best of Sony and put it into one smartphone and roll it out of the rest of the world. So from that point of view, I mean, it's a technology that was existing. On the other hand, I mean, Water resistance and dustproof device, I mean, it helps everybody's, in everybody's life. I mean, you have seen the, the, the demonstration before, I mean, uh, put, uh, throwing it on the ground or putting it into the water. I mean, it can happen. It can happen to every device. And with the Sony, the Sony handsets really make sure that if it happens, then you can use it for sure again. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, what would you say to Sony's critics uh, when it comes to uh, software updates? The Android software update has taken quite a long time in previous models. Uh, can we expect anything different this time? I mean, we're really working hard to get the, the latest software and the latest releases onto the handsets. I mean, now with Xperia Z, for example, we're having the latest release of the Android. I mean, it comes with Jelly Bean. Uh, for the older handsets, I mean, there's a lot of testing involved. There's a lot of upgrading involved. There's a lot of, let's say, we need to make sure that it's really, really working and that we don't, let's, that we don't, um, uh, 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 Make the, make the consumer angry. Huh? If, if you're rolling out some kind of software update and uh, the phone gets slower and slower and slower, that we don't want to avoid. So we really make sure before we release any update to any older handset that it's really working and that the consumer gets really what he's expecting out from that new release. Because sometimes a new release in terms of the software doesn't maybe bring new functionalities. It's maybe also a lot of security patches and security features that also need to be in that. So. We well, will improve. <laughs> we will improve. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Um, all our Android customers, uh, they, they are really happy to hear that. Um, Mark, thank you for sitting with us and good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thanks. Thank you.